Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. D-Wade out there with Bradley Beal. Then there's Towns. Then there's Lonzo Ball. And it's Williamson in at the four spot. Now here's Ball. Not a good performance from him in that loss to Houston. Just four to shoot. Trains it from beyond the arc. Beal's got the game going here with the first basket for New Orleans. Rose against Wade. Rose goes in. Look at that. Very nice. Incredible. D. Rose steal with great lift. Breaks out a dump. He's probably been working on for a while. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. Williamson is screen on Rose. And he drives in and Wade slams it in. And that is first class right there. Can you believe that dunk? I'm not sure, Greg, I can. Ball against Levine. Arkin in a screen on Ball. And here's Rose outside. That's good. And it's Levine with the assist. Rose has got five now. You know, Steve, now that we have some time away from it, how strange and wild were the NBA playoffs in that bubble? I think the wildest part, Kevin, was having players having the same living arrangements. We'll eventually look back and view it as one of the most interesting times in NBA history. Now, here's Wade, and we know he can score. He's averaging Wade. around 21 and a half points a game. You know, he's never been one to settle. D-Wade will go right at you. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Well, Billy Donovan gave me a few minutes. He said in the first meeting between these teams, his guys weren't as sharp as they needed to be offensively. And he thinks that cost them the game. He told me, if we take care of the basketball and execute in the half court like I know we're capable of, it puts us in a good position to win tonight. Well, we'll see if that holds true tonight, Kevin. Back to you. David, thanks. We appreciate the information. Guys, what do you think about their emphasis on shooting coming in? Listen, if you can get really good shot quality, being efficient, I think they can be successful with that strategy. They have to be patient and a willingness to make the next pass when the shot isn't there. Going inside and foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. The Bulls shooting the their initial the free throws Bulls. of the game right here. At the line for two. 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 And he can't get the first one. Well, pro probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And he's good on the second. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Wade drives in. Pass to Beal from deep. And it's Chicago with the rebound. A tough loss coming against New York in their last game played. When they ran the offense right, they found some easy shots. But on that occasion, it was few and far between. You know, they take one step forward, two steps back, and exercise and frustration. Beal finds ball. New Orleans moving it around. Beal deciding where to go with it. Lock at six. A three ball. Williamson trying to free himself up. Williamson on the follow. Next level strength and athleticism. Zion making his presence felt on the offensive glass. Outside, Levine. A miss that time would have put him up. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Feeds to Towns. Outside, ball. The three-pointer no good. Chicago's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Now when Lonzo Ball entered the league in 2017, Greg, there were major questions about his shooting. And he struggled, of course, during his rookie year. Yeah, and, and shooting 30% from deep and under 50% at the line. But 
credit to Lonzo. He's put major work into his stroke, getting that free throw percentage to over 75% during his fourth year in the league. And his three-point numbers, they've also improved greatly. Catching up on the changes for New Orleans. Ions checked in, and Tony Snell subbed in for Bradley Beal. Here's Whiteside over Williamson. Whiteside, no good. Out of character for him to miss that shot. Maybe just a little too casual there. Ion passes to Williamson. Wade against Rose. Williamson with a screen for Wade. And the Pelicans miss again. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Here's Whiteside from 13 feet. It goes down. Nice job when Whiteside makes shots from there. It gives this offense a whole other dimension. Wade and Whiteside sends it back. Levine kicks to Rose. Inside, here's Markinen. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Williamson is screen on Rose. The drive by Wade. Score of the basket is third after five shots. And he's really been working to get those looks, and it's starting to pay off here early on. Passes it to Levine. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Levine's got nine. He's been a big factor in their offense tonight, making shot after shot. Knocked loose. In transition, here come the Bulls. Here's Henry. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never Second in a hurry. Bulls shooting their third free throw attempt of the game. At the line for and, and Chicago. 75% on the season as One a shot. unit from the free throw line. One shot. One shot. And so here is New Orleans, trailing here by eight. Here's Snell, guarded by Levine. Here's Wade. Towns trying to get open, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. Levine feeling it out a bit. Whiteside sets the pit for Levine. Right side, no good. Pelicans trail by six. Hey, yo, right here. Wade, right side. Williamson with a screen for Wade. Towns for three, and no good. And the Bulls going the other way now. Rose kicks to Henry. Levine passes to White side. Over Wade, and it's White side. That time on the assist by Levine. And the Bulls lead by eight. Not to be denied. And what do you expect from Hassan Whiteside? He's full of confidence. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovable. All right, fans, A moment here now to see the numbers for Zach Levine. Some nice work from him over the last 10 games. Right around 21 points per, four rebounds, and two assists. Fantastic totals for him across the board. I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps rolling. It's not the monster game that we see from him occasionally, but it's still incredibly impressive. Now here's Ingram. Looking at his point production, he averages almost eight points a game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. The Bulls leading by eight. Outside Levine. Pass to Vucevic. Outside DeRozan. And some nice ball movement here by Chicago. Shoots it. Gafford misses. The Pelicans have gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Ingram passes to Wade. Here's Ingram. 
Back to Kleba. From past the arc. That shot off. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. DeRozan passes to Bain. Vucevic with it. Guarded by Powell. Puts it up. And that one hits back iron. Once he gets the ball there, you expect him to capitalize. That was a missed opportunity. And they don't want to get in the habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Levine. Nine points in the game so far. Goes up to the strike. DeRozan's shot is good. This is where Levine has really expanded his game, avoiding tunnel vision and getting others involved. Here's Snell. They trail by seven. It's Powell on the wing. Kleba kicks to Snell. Ingram passes to Wade. Down to five on the shot clock. From deep. Chicago grabs the miss. Their last meeting was in New Orleans, where they were unable to fight off the Pelicans. Yeah, and looking back at their last game against this club, they were badly out-rebounded. Now here's Ingram following the miss by DeRozan. Shoots over Vucevic, and it's Ingram missing. The Bulls leading by seven. Here's Levine. Here's Vucevic. Shoots over Powell, and it's Vucevic missing. And it's Wade with the ball for the Pelicans. He feeds it to Powell. Powell with his screen on DeRozan. Here's Wade with the drive. Oh, and the jam by Wade. What a play. Wade making the defenders look like they're underwater when he drives it. Who wants a teaser? Ladies and Curry's checked in for Chicago. Brown is checked in for New Orleans. Give him a hand. Lonzo Ball comes in for Dwayne Wade. The Bulls dance team. 157 left in the first. Gafford passes to Curry. Now here's Vucevic. Here's Gafford. And again, no good by Chicago. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Powell, the pass to Ingram. And here is Powell. The pass to Brown. Here's Ball. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. Rebounded by Bucevic. Chicago leading by five. DeRozan passes to Vucevic. Here's Bain. He's covered by Ball. The dish to Kerr. No good with the triple. The Pelicans shooting to start this game off about 41% from the floor. Kleba finds Ball. Now here's Kleba. No good from outside. Round against Curry. Pass to Bain. Down low. Stolen by Ball. And it's Brown missing. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Bain passes to Gaffer. Here's DeRozan. Some solid defense from Ingram. Outside, ball. And it's Desmond, Desmond Bain, Bain with the foul. That's his first, That's his first foul. foul. You know what? First Tried to step foul. in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Ball from long range. Here's Kleba. And that shot was up in time, but That's doesn't go in. And so it's Zach Levine making things happen for the Bulls. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. We've got more in store. All right, look who's coming out of the court. Get up and get loud for the... And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where all we're at right, right now. Now let's take a moment to get, get your guys' get take on the scoring zone for, for the, the Bulls. Bulls. Well, they're having a lot of success from mid-range in the first half. Always nice to have that jumper to fall back on. 
and also how about the fact defensively they're getting that backboard and getting out in transition, especially in this first half. Vucevic is out there with Daniel Gafford. Then it's DeRozan. Then it's Curry. And it's Bain in at the small forward. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Cornette kicks the ball. Just five to shoot. Passes it to Kleba. Hits it from three-point range. Kleba. Kleba's got himself on the board with three there. The floor awareness of ball excels at getting the ball to his uncovered teammates. Beal against Kurt. Pass to DeRozan. Over Ingram. And DeMar DeRozan the bucket on the assist by Kurt. DeRozan's got his second bucket. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Ball dishes to Beal. No good on that one. Great tee that time from Curry. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. There's an element to Nikola Vucevic's game that fits well with most of the league's modern offensive schemes. And with his inside-out game, he's a guy that can stretch the floor. And Kevin, when you look at today's NBA, nothing is more important than spacing and passing. And when Vucevic is on the court, you can be sure the spacing will be excellent. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball move. The Pelicans make it. And it's switch here. Powell's checked in. All right. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for DeMar DeRozan. And looking at his offensive numbers from the past few years, it seems like teams around the league have kind of figured him out. Uh, he's having to work a lot harder for his points, and they haven't been coming nearly as easily as they used to. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Chicago. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Now Gafford. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And DeRozan. Here we go. And they pick up two. DeRozan's got the lead up to 12 now for the Bulls. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. Now here's Ingram. Not a lot of room. Can't hit the free throw line jump. And they just can't find a way to end this thing. Nothing falling right now. All you see is a lot of frustration. Someone needs to step up and make a play to turn this thing around. Gafford passes to DeRozan. Shoots over Beal. DeRozan's shot is off. Pelicans trail by 12. Outside Beal. It's stolen by Vucevic. The pass to Bain. Fires from 18. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. All right, look who's coming out. And let's take a peek at the players contending for a spot in the dunk contest this year. Each and every one of these guys. <laughs> can do amazing things around the bucket. And they will. Uh, I guarantee you that we're going to see things in this year's contest that we've never seen before. Th those fellas have some tricks up their sleeve for sure. Almost all the way up there in the top hey, spot. Yeah. I don't know if he'll make it to number one, but you'd have to say he's going to be a part of the contest for sure. It, it's looking that way, and, and the contest will Love be a lot ball. better off having him in it. He always puts on a show. And as always, we'll keep the updates coming in as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. One thing we already know, there are some great players pulling in votes so far. Yeah, and I think it's safe to say that this is going to be one of those dunk contests that everybody's going to be tuning into. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one on Rose. As a line for the this is what you want to see more Lonzo of from Ball. Lonzo, being more aggressive with his own offense and drawing fouls. Shooting two. The first free throw is good. And Greg, you made your money on the defensive end. What was the toughest kind of player to defend? Uh, 
a one-on-one -on -one guy or, or a constant movement type of player? I, I've always will say that it's harder to guard movement. You know, as a defender, you're, you, you drill a lot about guarding the basketball. But when a guy is great without it, man, that is the hardest job you can have defensively. If you're a point guard and you want the ball at the end of games, you have to knock down free throws. That's something Lonzo Ball is working on, in my opinion. Levine's shot is off. Pelicans trail by 11. Ion passes to Beal. Towns for three. Good on the three-point shot. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. Larkin in a screen on ball. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Larkin in passes to Rose. A floater. He lays it in. Rose has got seven points. Derrick Rose explosive get into the paint. But when he gets there, he has a soft touch as well. Beal against Rose. Towns a screen on Rose. And Beal kicks to Williamson. Ball with it. It's picked up by Whiteside. Towns, no luck. And here are the Bulls now. They're on a 14-6 run. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. Well, it's a player's lead, but certainly the coaching has its place. Yeah, if that weren't the case, you wouldn't see so many coaching changes in the offseason. Dwayne Wade's checked in for New Orleans. Out of bounds, New Orleans will take possession. Out of bounds. And this is now a list of guys who can shoot it as well as they can pass it. The point guards with the highest shooting percentage in the NBA. Derrick Rose, number one. Second is Dwayne Wade. As a point guard, you want to create the best possible shot every trip down the floor. And given the way these guys have shot the ball, you know, it's not a bad idea every now and then for them to go it alone. You're right. I don't care what position it is. With percentages like that, get them more shots. Williamson, the pass to Beal. Williamson, a screen on Levine. Beal. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Rose against Wade. Arkin in a screen on Wade. Rose goes in. Oh, and the jam by Rose. Well, he created room off the dribble, got into the lane, and off that drive, he had a nasty dunk. Rose against Wade. Williamson is screen on Rose. He takes it in, and it will go. Wayne and the Wayne. Bulls' lead is cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Wade. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs it right into the screen, and then gets the basket? There's Levine. He slaps it down right on top of Curly many times. An explosive, high-level athlete. You see why Zach has won multiple dunk contests. Williamson is screen on Rose. Here's Wayne. He kicks to Ion. He's looking for Williamson and finds him. Here's Beal. Played in with a nice touch Bradley off the glass. Beal. Beal's got five points so far. I love when Beal slashes to the rim like this, using that athleticism and speed so well. Outside, Levine fires from deep. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Outside, Beal. Mr. Williamson. Stolen by Rhodes. Outside, Markinen. Levine passes to Whiteside. That's good, and it's Levine with the assist. Levine's got his fourth assist in this one. All of seven feet, 265. Whiteside easily powers through contact. That's a great play. Left side, Beal. Good on the shot, and that shaves the lead to single digits. He's got eight. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. All right, look who's coming out of the park. 
get up and get loud for Walls check in for the Pelicans. Tony Snell comes in for Bradley Beal. Let's check out the Western Conference standings right now that we're here in the new year. A look at Chicago. Down to the bottom of the conference. The fans hope they can turn it around and show some improvement. Here's Whiteside. Misses from short range. And so it's Wade. He'll bring it up for the New Orleans Pelicans. Nine-point game. They'll host the Denver Nuggets after this one. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Snell kicks to Towns. Come to me, come to me. Williams in with a screen for Wade. D2 from Ball. That one no good. And the Bulls going the other way now. They've led by as many as 14 points. Stolen by Ball. And it's Wade in the corner. Let's it go with a three. Henry with the rebound. The Bulls leading by nine. Rose with the ball. Wade picks him up. Rose, no good. Here's Snell. Eight points his last outing. Here's Ball. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. White side. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. The Pelicans Shooting have shot two free throws and they're one of two so far. Ball. And they've been ordinary the on the season two. as well. Just about 75% from the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Ball. After having no trips to the free throw line in the first period, he's being much more aggressive now. Ball hits them both. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Rose passes to Whiteside, kicks it to Markinen. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Towns has got four rebounds now tonight. Ball, the pass to Towns. That falls. Nice Ball feed that time from Ball. Towns has got five points so far. And few seven-footers in the league have Towns' shooting touch. This is a guy you want to create for time and time again. Rose passes to Whiteside. They could use a bucket. Pelicans with the rebound. Williamson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Snell dishes to Wade. Passes it to Williamson. And Williamson. Down. You know, he's had a handful of seasons in the top ten in assists. Wade is a gifted passer. Outside Rose. Markinen in the corner. Picked by Markinen to the middle. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Markinen's got his second basket. Comfortable on the offensive end, marketing drawing contact, but maintains his focus. Smell no good. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. And it's Wade with the jam. I guess if anyone was concerned about Wade's wheels, there's the answer. Outside Levine. Outside Markinen. To the paint and stolen by Williamson. It's stolen by Rose. Count that Rowe. one. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance in the last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing he's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. In the corner, Henry with it. Back to Rose. 
Outside Levine. Pass to Henry. And there's the foul. Oh, it's on Tony Town. That's his first that's foul. First, first yeah, that's foul. a tough call right there. And, and really a foul. tough break for the D. Levine inside the three. And it's in! And it's the buzzer beater. 